But here's the thing, is that at Tammany Bar, that's where the great Missoula flood met the Bonneville flood. And sorting out that relation between those two enormous hydraulic events, some of the most stupendous, epic hydraulic events in North America. Now, Missoula, remember, was actually one order of magnitude greater than Bonneville. But the Bonneville was still a very impressive flood, and it was focused. It it tended to be more focused along a narrower area than the Missoula flood. It still did an enormous amount of very impressive geomorphic work in its passage. And in fact, that's what we're going to go in May. We're going to start in Lake Bonneville by Salt Lake, and we're going to head north, and we're going to go through Red Rock Pass, which was the outburst point. We're going to see where these waters poured through this aperture in the mountains, and then we're going to follow that north. It'll cut to the west, and it'll we'll see where it emerged out onto the Snake River Plain. Then we'll follow the evidence from Pocatello, where uh, it discharges out onto the Snake River Plain, all the way to the southern mouth of Hell's Canyon.